Hello and welcome to the Blob Plays Railroad Tycoon 2. Here, a custom map, Minnesota. That's part of Choo Choo Tuesday. Minnesota. L-M-N. This one. Minnesota TSC. It's been modified from its original existence. Boom. Ah, it has been modified even more. The land of many waters needs many rails to grow and develop. You have 30 years to achieve your goals. Gold, 40 million company book value, 20 million player net worth, and 6 connect points. Silver, 25 company book value, 10 personal, 3 connect points. 15 mil. Company book value, 1 connect point for bronze. At, 2 at for points east and points south. 1 for Canada, North Dakota coal, and the states of... We ear and me. Sorry, I don't know my US shorthand for most of the states. Original map and scenarios by Pete Cangiolisi. Modifications to the scenario by Dick Kinsley, version 1.3. Alright. This has been, compared to the other one we looked at, made a bit more reasonable. So I think we start with, if we can, Minneapolis-St. Paul to Dolph. We'll see how much the uh, connection costs. And who can this be? Could this be Andarius Rail? How much does access cost? Nothing! You have access everywhere except Canada. So it, these, these zones are just to check if you've connected to points, not to make you pay money. That gets three. It gets... It's probably worth going three squares this way instead. No. It was only two squares. But that looks like the best point. Ka-ching. So that gets this with one, two, three, four pairs of houses. And then we're going to try and get all the way over to here. This is a not allowed to build this connected track level. Fair enough. Uh, who do we have? Do we have someone that can make track building cheaper? No, we've got the best guy. Fuel cost down man. Something like that. We're running perilously low on money. Done. Mm. Buy an American. Head that way. I think a saloon. Build a post office on the other end. And then we're out of money. You're not for sale. I don't know. Has the South been crushed yet? Look at the date, Cal. Continue. 
Now, the real question is, do we need another sanding and water midway? I'm hoping that it can get end to end on its sanding and water as it exists. Hmm. I forgot to disable <clears throat> the dividend because I'm an idiot. Should just start at zero. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Valuable train, oh, more than half a million dollars. By the time it gets there, it'll probably just be about 600. By forest bandits. I'm not building a caboose. No, not happening. down. So we just pull into the station as we're running out of water. It's perfect. Build the post office on the other end. It's also going to need sanding water. Wouldn't mind a restaurant. <sighs> I mean, he was the one robbing the trains in his playthrough. And hopping on top of them to shoot birds. more money than our competitors, and yet somehow I'm worth less, which is all kinds of surprising. Can I have a loan? 12%! Oh well. I graciously accept your offer of a unreasonably expensive loan. Ow. Go. Now, where can we process those logs? Here. So the next thing we want to do is connect up to there, add this, and then go logs, logs, lumber. Actually, there's two things of logs that we can easily access. And there's paper that we can easily access. Are you big enough to want paper? You are. And supposedly at a rate of nine. Oh, we export paper. Okay. The ports do paper export into goods and passengers, and grain into coal and demand iron. Yeah, and there is iron up there. All the more reason to connect this little thing, once we're allowed. Some more money. Don't buy shares in my company, you meanies. Only I may have shares in my company. This needs a roundhouse. Both ends need a hotel. I want to add in that, this, that. Minnesota iron is what did a lot of it. What have we got? Yeah, there's a fair bit of iron up here. It's 
Speed up. This year's profits so far aren't looking as good, but... Let's give us a sec. Also, good day, Goka. Good day, good day, good day. Only passengers, apparently. That is enough to set up... That. Start aggregating those logs and that pulpwood. We need a medium to be able to do the paper. And we can actually start doing that. So, pulpwood here, pulpwood here. Go. Probably should have started at the other side because this train, the passenger train, is currently blocking it. Minneapolis Dings. One male. Everything else passenger. Yes, please, to the hotel. Yes, please, to the other hotel. You need a roundhouse as well. Slow right down. And let's add in that lumber processing. So it was... here. that as long as I give this sanding water and roundhouse, even if things go like here, 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 somewhere else, they won't run out of water in the medium. So now I want two things. I want those iron to come here and I want those logs to go there. I'll start with those iron to there. And the other logs to there. Those logs here, and then take them to Minneapolis. And that is your loop forever. I am going to need to double track this bit. Never! Never a caboose. Never! They're a waste of weight. About the only map Ooh. in memory of James Hill. Construction expenses. Oh no, memorandum for James Hill. Sir, the demand our company is placing on the local supplies of building material is driving up prices. Our operating costs. We've recently seen a 31% rise in the price of lumber and other construction materials. Driving up the cost for laying track and especially for stations. These prices are likely to grow worse unless we can increase the supply of lumber. Ole Svensson, Chief of Engineering, and we have our first cannery in Winnipeg. Wait, Winnipeg, Canada? And Darius Rail stock splits 3 for 1. I am the most valuable. Good. Yes, Winnipeg, Canada. Up here. Well, that's not going to happen for a while.
Speed up one. One sec. Cough, 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 cough. Okay, you turn those into goods? No, it just eats them, it doesn't turn them into goods. So I need to double this and get our other log log runner happening. Absolutely not. Industries are a waste of money relative to just doing more expanding. You will have higher rate of return on expanding than buying industries. I generally only buy industries for the sake of not feeling bad about the AI snatching them up and making money on my, my effort. But in the strictest sense, I know that it's bad to do. Woo. We're good to double this track now. And then this track. And we're going to make our second log deliverer. So he goes logs here and come back. An easy life for you. got the hotels. Small hotel, small hotel. Now we actually could do the paper. And that would turn into goods we will need someone else to deliver. Possibly this guy, because there's no way that this logs keeps up with his ability to deliver the logs. So we'll say, you do one here, 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 and then the other time you can do goods to Minneapolis, and then that's your loop. Hopefully. Pay off our debt. Don't like 12% interest. And this should ding. One mail. And we've got to think about where do we expand with this money. So what should we add in next? That's fairly sizable. Especially if we could snag both. We can snag most of both cities there. One, two, three and a half pairs of people. Rice Lake. Hmm. This would really like cattle and produce. It's a no disconnected track level. There's something to be said for boxing our opponents in. So like I could do Mankato to Rochester, just so that our exponents don't... Uh, exponents. 
our opponents don't grow by attaching to their network. Is that line about... Yeah, we could even make that a single straight line. I quite like that. So, come across to there. Actually, needed to be one more. This way. Normally I'd say come all the way over there, but I think we're actually going to want to put it a little bit in this way so that we could add a river crossing. I think even better would be to make it one higher square up, but I am already built this, so we're just going to say no. If I, if I could redo, roll back to the start of the year, without feeling like cheating, I would do that. Build the whole thing one square higher up so that we could cross the river. <laughs> Post office, saloon. Post office saloon. Go. One, 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 one. Start the other end. Both ends are definitely going to need sanding and water. Sanding and water. And there is nearby cow. Both sides eat cow. So we're going to want to double track this and then deliver food to both directions. When Minnesota became a state next year, there were no railroads. Uh -huh. The residents voted to let the state borrow $5 million and lend it to four companies to build railroads. The companies took the money and built no railroads. The cheated residents' feelings were expressed in a political cartoon showing a pack of gophers pulling a railroad car of the looters. The gophers destroyed farmers' crops, and the crooked businessman destroys the state's dreams for railroads and had eaten the public money. The name gophers for Minnesotans soon entered the songs of the period. To this day, that term is commemorated as the mascot of the universe. So their mascot is literally someone who stole money. Only in America. Uh, sir, the continuing shortage of construction materials in the region is making it impossible for me to stay within our construction budget. Please consider hauling logs, lumber, and or cement. Look, I am hauling lumber. We're doing that. I'm hauling lumber. Quit nagging me. Yes, they stole public money. Apparently, the origin of... their university mascot... is a reference to people stealing money. Yeah, but no one would had, have Ned Kelly as their... their mascot. No one, surely, he says. <sighs> this needs a roundhouse. We'd 
also like you to have a restaurant. Except we're too poor. Fair enough. And we want to add in the cattle. Not on your Ned Kelly. Not on your Ned Kelly. Although, we don't really say that that often here. We would be more likely to say you got Buckley's chance of that. Speed up one. The Minkato Zephyr. Sure. Statehood at last. Minnesota, land of sky-tinted waters. And the Star of the North is admitted to the Union. Two and two. Yes, please, to the restaurant. Yes, please, to the hotel. Yes, please, to the other hotel. Actually, no, we can't afford that yet. When you deliver there, you can have it. For now... Uh, I can't make it. So it has to be two small ones, unfortunately. Still needs slightly more money. Yeah, I'd rather do two smalls than the one big. It saves money. And I don't really care about the extra stopping time that much here. It's not on a busy line where the extra stopping time's getting in the way of other stuff. No one had any problems with Minnesota becoming a state. By January, so several months ago, all was set, and then Congress decided to tie Minnesota's statehood in with Kansas, and Kansas was caught up in the slavery debate. Southerners warned, wanted it to become a slave state. Northerners disagreed, and the residents of Kansas weren't asked. In May, a compromise was accepted, letting Minnesota be admitted, and the Kansases got a say in their own destiny. Minnesota's first governor, Henry Silby, was a Democrat, originally from Michigan. It was agreed in advance that St. Paul would be the capital, Minneapolis and Stillwater would get the university, and penitentiary, respectively. No full stop. Actually, I should have done that like that, so that's a waste of money. Now we're too poor. Sucks to be me. I'm an idiot. Woo. So that one, and this one. And we need to double this track. Ouch. We need to double that track eventually. <laughs> We're too poor. Two, four, here, food. Two, four, here, food. So, so like Sydney. Kaladin. <laughs> uh. Now, is this log deliveries going to make it stop nagging me about the cost of building? Yes, the inferior bits of Aussie land. That's actually a lot of goods. We can now afford to double that track. Done. Lovely. Kickbacks mostly. Brain in heart. Kickbacks. Hmm. 
now. Do I connect this up and go ding, 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 ding to try and push this to produce more cattle? As someone that has lived in Sydney, Sydney does not go well for itself. Done. Oh, ding there, ding there. Your job is just to facil facilitate earning more food money. Unfortunately, that means I should put a thing like here and make that have a maintenance bay, sanding and water. We can't afford, so just for the moment that. Otherwise, this guy will never get maintenance. Maybe we just have two, each one doing a half. Yeah. So instead of Rochester, you go the other way. You go Rochester and then Minico or Minkato or Zero. Done. Make sure you know not to. Wait. Make sure you know not to... Good. Be waiting there. So when will the territories become states? Ours? The Northern Territory doesn't... Doesn't have... The Northern Territory is an economic drain net, so it's unlikely to want to be absorbed by any of the states. It might become its own state, question mark. Um... And the other one is the capital state, so it's going to be left alone. Slow down. Unloading. There is one nail. We actually do need to split you out, so you've got a new job, you just do that. And we have a separate logs here, there. Yeah, he's right on time to pick up those next logs, make a little Merge lane. Surely there's iron or something to dig up? No. Not so much. There's a lot of sand. Sand that is often richer in iron than some locations that Japan mines for iron or Notice. Recent improvements in the supply of construction materials have dropped their prices significantly. While still more expensive than we would like, costs are now running below previous levels. Okay, so it accepts that I've delivered enough logs. Good. And you needed your restaurant and hotel. Good. It might take a while, yes. Emutopia may have to invade Kiwi Land. Instead of instead of letting them colonize our Couches. 
What, with 10% of them living here instead of in their own country? No, everything seems to be going well. Where should we add next? I should probably box in this AI. Hmm. Or I should look at buying out the AI. Actually, no, it doesn't matter. There's, unlike the other version of this map, we don't have to eat our enemies. Still, it's good to stop the enemies getting in our way. So I like having done this, and it's earning lots of nice money. Is it worth expanding out of you? That's got one, two... That's got one and a half. That's got two. So we could do here to there. And that actually works as a diagonal. I could see that being okay. Yeah, we'll wait for a little bit more money and add that in. That said, they do look to be doing a better job of uh, incorporating the First Nation peoples. I think they're having it. And they just had an important vote, and whereas we sucked at ours that we just had, they're not going to. It'd be lovely. Looks like we could add in goods without too much issue. This would make a nice diagonal. Goods here could go to both sides. God damn it! I was like, I'll wait to expand here to this until he. Fine. Fine, let's do this thing instead. So... There. Good night, Cal. Done. So I want... One. And I know that seems stupid, but it lets us deliver these sheeps to this thing. And there. That one will need a water. And the new thing to do is grab two to here, two to there. Turn them into goods, deliver them to that side, and then do the same thing, but on the other side. So two to here, two to there, turn it into goods, deliver it to Rochester. Done. Go. Perfect. Maybe you could take two at a time from the look of it. You're over full, but not in anyone's way. And your loop seems to be going really well.
have no debt to pay off. How could we expand? Seeing as he already absorbed this, annoyingly. We could still connect that up to here. And just try and steal his passengers from him. Yeah, I'm willing to try and be a jerk to him. I think I'm going to do a better job than he will. Am I really willing to pay that just to not have to build two little bits of track? No, not really. Saloon, restaurant. Saloon, restaurant, water sanding roundhouse. Give you a basic. Do that everywhere. It might be worth doing that. Just to try and drive down construction prices even more. So, one, two, three, four, there, there. Then I need a little link back, but we're too poor. And this side needs a water. So it was water. Link back. Okay, now we're good. I'm happy with that little zone. Superior offers 100k to connect to it. We can do that for less than 100k. Done. Wait for it to acknowledge it. Then where else could we go? Thank you, Superior. Woo. Kill it. Net gain, like, 40 or 50k. From building the station, demolishing it. Well, building the station, accepting their bribe money, and then demolishing the station. Do we need a second one of you? Mm. No, it looks like we're good with just one. Special one-time deal. You've been offered a contract with a locomotive builder who guarantees to produce exceptionally reliable engines. The immediate cost is a one-time fee of 100k. And the real cost is they cost more to buy and maintain. A hundred percent better reliability. I mean, they don't explode very often as is. No, I think I'm good. Well, actually, it doesn't scale linearly, right?
Yeah, I'll do it. I hate breakdowns a lot. Where do we expand next? There's no fourth house in Alexandria. New Ohm! <laughs> I did not know there was such a place. This is pretty reasonably sized. Probably St. Cloud down to Fargo. Holy moly, that is a lot of coal. Where does that coal even go? The only place that wants coal is Minneapolis, and it doesn't want coal that much. Never cheap out with the stupid bridges. You're always going to want them to be double at some stage. Hmm. Do I blow up those two houses? I think we come to, like, here. Done. We're too poor. Why? Because stations are still extra expensive, just not as extra expensive as once they were. Fair enough. I don't think I need a second one of those. Okay, let's add in our city here. Lovely. Roundhouse, water, sanding, hotel, post office, saloon, restaurant, go. And then on this end... Roundhouse, sanding, water, post office, saloon, restaurant. We need 200 more K. Choo-choo! Welcome, Nuxa. G'day, g'day, I hope you're having a lovely day. That is enough. Roundhouse, sanding water. Post office, saloon, restaurant, done. We can make our first new end-to-end. -end. You two here. 
One, two, three, four, do. Do we need something in the middle? Very probably. Truthfully, we very probably do need something in the middle to provide more train. Have I thought about those games I told you about some time ago? Which ones? Um, people have told me about, what, Sovereign Skies or something? Um, which is on my nominal wish list, which is being used not in that case to mean I wish it, but um, to track whether it's uh, on sale. Oh, Advance Wars. I wouldn't say no to Advance Wars, but I don't see myself... Like, if someone dictated it or something, I'd, I'd happily play it. I know that it would be a fine time. But I don't see myself... Um, I don't see myself going to play that by myself yet. I'm more likely to go play Heroes of Might and Magic 1, which I've never played, on the Game Boy. If I was gonna, if I was gonna go for a new turn-based strategy, I would go play Heroes of Might and Magic One on the Game Boy because I never played it. <laughs> no, but I know Advance Wars. I've seen Advance Wars played. I've watched friends play Advance Wars. I know, I know what it is. Move tank. Tank girl yells at opponent, opponent tank girl. Repeat. Now, how far can you get before you run out of water? Yeah, not far enough. So, we chuck in another watering thing here. Both of these can accept cow. And both ends would like food. So it makes a lot of sense to do something like that. Really be bothered? Yeah, I'll spend the extra money to make it that bit quicker. Double this track. Rip money. And then we need two. The only one that exists for Salah is apparently three. Firm disbeliever. Two is the only true one, at least until we play one. And if Goka is still around, and they are, oh, I totally should have done that. If you're around next 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 week, Goku, we should do your thing, because otherwise I'm probably asking you to stay up too late, and that's not really reasonable. There we go. As in on next week's Choo Choo Tuesday, we may have a special, a special dictated Choo Choo. Southern states secede. Seven southern states secede from the Union. President Lincoln issues call up for troops to put an end to the rebellion. Which is Railroad Tycoon 1. He has declared that I am to play the mother game. That which comes before. Mm, we 
could grab these grains, yeet them up here, and turn them into alcohol. Without too much issue. You would sooner play Heroes 4 on the hardest difficulty. And that. Maybe one more? Like, how many do I need? One. Two. Three. Yeah, so I do need a third one. Well, apparently they made a sequel to your favourite game, Solar. Even if you don't acknowledge that it exists. Okay, so this, this, and this. One alcohol delivery to each, and then one to each of the others. So, grab two. Chuck it to Minneapolis. Come back to Fargo. That one. Minneapolis. St. Cloud. And lastly, Minneapolis, Dolph. Now that does mean that this track is busy enough to deserve double tracking, at least this bit. And probably this one needs a water. And then on this side, we're going to want that, and possibly that, and possibly that. Very double, possibly. Company of heroes. Oh, that. <laughs> okay. This all looks good. This needs goods and or wood. There is log processing and there is logs. So we can totally add in this, this to here. And then deliver to both of those. One sec. Cough, cough, cough. Slow down. I want that. And from there, and from there, actually just go one square up further that way. needs water. Okay. Two trains. So, grab three, turn them into logs, deliver them there. And I'm too poor. We need to wait for slightly more money. Fair enough. Now we can. No, we can't. More money disappeared. Wait a sec. Kind of does look, look like we could have a second one of these. So, okay. Logs, logs, lumber here. Lumber, they're done. Well, 
Have we bought up all the oil wells? I don't know if there is oil. There is no oil on this one. Zero oil. I guess I'd be okay with this having a maintenance bay. If people are going to go all the way in there and come all the way from here to here. It isn't so bad for it to have a maintenance bay. This needs a hotel. In fact, both ends of that need a hotel. This one, already done, good. slightly behind the curve on this, but not so far behind that I particularly want to build a second one. Logging industry prospers. Railroads spur development of lumber and paper industries. Production rising and investors see prosperity ahead. Probably need a second one of all of those. In fact, we definitely need a second one of all of those. So one, two, three, of him or get stuck behind? You're going to get ahead of them. Good for you. Next question. Does he catch up with this before that starts moving? No, he does not catch up. Final question. Do you get ahead of this guy before he starts moving? Actually, it won't matter, because he's going the other way. Okay, this doesn't currently have food, and neither does that. Hmm. These could provide grain down to here, to food to the other end. So, it is now clear that your decision to contract for the more reliable locomotives was extremely wise. A side benefit of the technology and maintenance practices now being used on these locomotives is provide proving capable of running at higher than expected speeds. As of today, I am changing the standard directives to our engineers to allow them to run 10% faster than previously permitted. This should have a beneficial effect on revenue with no increase in cost. Fantastic. I was looking at adding... something like that. And... I guess we'll just go like that.
Okay. We're overclocking our trains. One, two, three, four. Deliver down to here to become food. Up to Dolph. Yes, and then we do a second one that's essentially the same, except it delivers to Minneapolis. Go. They shouldn't ever run on top of each other. In any meaningful way. I think we add in the coal next, because that's one of the things that gets us victory points. And who doesn't like victory points? Why don't defeat games... Why don't games have defeat points? <laughs> They're called hit points, Shoe. When you lose enough of them, you're dead. Okay, so we go coal to the only place that wants coal. Actually, that place wants coal as well. Do you want coal? No, do you want coal? No, but we can do coal to here and coal to there quite happily. Stacks of four. Two of them. We've connected to Western Coal. The increase in lumber supplies has reduced our costs. I estimate that such costs will return to near normal levels within a few years. And Darius Rail prospers. I don't think these are ever going to get in each other's way. Does anywhere else want coal? No. Not even a little bit. What else do we need? We need to start increasing our personal net worth. Holy... How have you afforded so many of my shares? How, 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 how? By being rather more leveraged than me is part of the answer. So I will achieve approximately equal leverage. But increase the value of my own share component. How rich does the company need to get? We're currently at 18 mil, and we need to get to about 40. So there's still more work to do. Is there a fourth house hiding behind the cow cutter? No. This is big enough to deserve connecting to. So is Winnipeg. Waterton is, and Bookings is, Sioux Falls is, Worthington is worthy of connection, and so is New Ulm. Mm. I'm inclined to go Winnipeg, Grand Falls, come down, come down, come across, come down, connect up to Waterton, and Sioux Falls. Because that will make two extremely long distance connections that will rake in the money. Uh, 
I will probably need a bit more money to get started, though. So probably end of this year we'll look at building that. The alcohol mobiles first deliveries are arriving. A grain into alcohol. Speed up one. Indian Uprising. Dakota Indians captured and 39 are hung after a rampage that kills nearly 500 settlers. Two and two. And dare I say we probably have the money to do that connection that we were looking for, so... I want... Oh. Looks good. Up, up, up. Oh, I have to buy Canadian access. Canada? Yo. Give me access. Oh, come on. Boo. <sighs> Fine, we accept that it has one zigzag. Right at the very end. In which case, we might as well optimize on distance as much as possible. Build everything. This needs one. We should also be optimizing its distance. Okay. Then I want to get something like that. Something like that. And something like that. Okay, it still needs doubling, end to end. But we have Waterton. One, two, and a little bit. One, two, and nothing. Although, actually, you could also do grain to cow to meat to back. We'll need a bit more money. Though we could start our first express, so it was going to be here to there. I guess you can take a cow with you? No, we should do the cows separate.
resupply as well as potentially give us access to sheep and hope that it can make it there to there a uh, bit of an ask we've connected to Canada we've connected to ND to Nancy Drew we've connected to Nancy Drew I do need to duplicate number one. We need to wait for some money to come in. Jailbreak! Several prisoners escaped, causing havoc in the area. Woo. You need duplicating. Go. Sure. Slow down. This end still needs everything. Okay, and then it's cattle to here to back there. Wait for four, turn them into four food and back. So, so far we have food going to Grand Forks. Now we have food coming back to Sue. I need food to Winnipeg. Like that. Looks good. <clears throat> and then we only aren't delivering food to Waterton. Which is easy enough, we just add in a little thing to here. This, here, Waterton, done. I still need the end-to-end -end expresses, two of them. And the other one of these ones. Okay. Hams, from the land of blue sky waters. Memorandum. Sir, it is to my pleasure to inform you that our connection to the North Dakota cold fields has resulted in being granted favourable prices for coal. For fuel for our locomotives. I estimate this will save us 10%. In coming years, congratulations. Woo. Still too poor, fine. I need the best next big ding to come in. time believing you've lost money over your... Maybe it hasn't yet done a cycle. Ooh, 
Woo. Try and prevent these from running into each other. Okay, we need... Thirty-five and thirty. We need our end-to-end -end expresses on this. So you two here. Wait for that one to fill up, and then turn it back to being like the other one. Okay. these two aren't running over each other. Might as well double track this bit. And now that bit. It's about all we can afford to do. And we have our first robbery. Kaladin would be happy if he was still awake. I'm punished for my lack of cabooses. Pay comes in. One, two, three, good enough. Double the rest of this track if we can. Ching. That almost gets us the whole way doubled. We've just got the last leg. And then we can also add in the sheep. Ooh, there's the last leg. Perfect. But before, well, actually, I'll do the sheep first. The sheep first is fine. Doesn't hurt anyone to do the sheep first. So, sheep. Here. to Winnipeg. Sheep here, there. Sheep here, there. That'll do. And I still want to do this thing. But we're too poor. Need to wait for a little bit more money. There we go. And then what it was going to be was three here, there. Done. Now every city gets food here. Every city except Grand Forks gets goods. I'm very happy with that. The other cities worth doing were Worthington and New Ulm.
railroad tycoon honoured by governor. <clears throat> Thanks to the Andarius Railroad. Minnesota's farm economy has reached record levels. Good enough. And then up here. Good. We might be a little bit sneaky and do that. And then grab these. So, one, two, three, four. Food to there. One, two, three, four. Food to there. Or actually, we'll just have two. So, one, two, three, four. Food to there. That's the first one. And then one that's essentially the same, except it goes to Ulm. need a link back. This section of track will need to be doubled all the way down to the cattle processor. And preferably to there. If they run over each other in this last little section, I guess I live with it. And we need an express. The Worthington New Ulm. Done. Okay, and when we've got a bit more money, we do all the maintenancey stuff. think that will do. Aside from giving this hotels at some stage, these two, this is all done. I suppose if we really wanted we could get that end around house as well. Nah, I don't think we need it. Slightly too poor. Now we're not. Need to wait for another ding, and then we can have grain to here, grain to there. Enhancing the food rate. means we need to double that whole track and we give you a maintenance. And then that area is done. One sec. <coughs> Sorry, I was a bit slow on the mute. Sorry. Cough, 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 cough. Okay.
Where else? Decora isn't worthwhile. We're supposed to connect over here for the victory points. Lacrosse is worthwhile. Madison has extra passengers by virtue of these ports. Such that even though it appears like it's not worth connecting to, it is. So we could probably try and push her across Madison. Happy bridges. Connect to there. God damn it. Oh, that's my fault. Keep working our way over for the connection point thing that we need to do. Wait for some more money and we can set up Lacrosse Madison. good. That looks less good. Go back and do the same thing one tile back. Slightly too poor, fine, patience. Dang. We need another one. Because they run out of water between here and here. Fine. Done. Fantastic. Connect. Done. Everything. Except we're too poor. Fine. Wait for a little bit more money. There we go. And at the other end. And then the train. That's probably about the reasonable ratio.
Okay, where else? Brain nerd? Brain nerd. I mean, it could connect to Grand Rapids fairly happily. Why not? Good. Memorandum, it's my pleasure to inform you that our recent connection to the Eastern Railroads via Madison, Wisconsin, has given us access to cheaper coal to fuel our locomotives. 5% cheaper. So that's my reward for connecting to the right-hand side of the map. Landing post office, customer saloon, everything. And now we build our little new express between those two. Done. The last thing is to skyrocket my personal wealth. Are we at 40 company book value? Not yet. 30. More! So it's not going to take long for that, with these earning like a million dollars per end to end. Union preserved. General Lee surrenders at Appomattox. Troops begin mustering out and come home. Another jailbreak. Technically, both this and that want lumber. So... It's slightly silly, but we can go here to here. So, lumber, logs there, lumber, logs there. I guess this can therefore have a water in the middle. Oh, he's connected over to Ashland. Technically, that's worth connecting to. And so is two harbours. Hail, Pisces. Welcome, welcome, welcome. The exceptionally severe winter is requiring greater effort in ploughing track. 
Labor costs are up, and material costs are running above budget. Okay, whatever. Track maintenance is a tiny amount, realistically. So increasing it by a... Increasing it by anything less than 100% probably doesn't even get noticed. Right, last year, track maintenance... Well, actually, track maintenance was fairly high. I stand corrected. Still, nowhere near our earnings. <laughs> Who cares? Holy sh! that price is high. Why is that price so high? These guys are just buying their own shares up, and my shares up as well. Montevideo offers us 200k to connect. I mean, technically you're worth connecting to. I could go here. And then connect that to... Hibbing? I guess. Yes, we will allow it. Build everything. And then on the other end. Oh. No, I wanted to go there. Don't need that extra turn at the end. Give it everything. Okay, and these are far enough away that we can have two. Punished again for no for no for no cabooses. God damn it, that started on the wrong end. Well, we're gonna change you. You're gonna do something else. Go back to here. And we will connect you up to this instead. That looks good. Does mean that this will need doubling. And so probably will that last a little bit up here. This will want doubling. And we'll at least want a little loop back. Yeah. This will all want doubling, yes. Okay, and then what do we do with it? Well, you friend. Grab two of those, take them to there, take them to there. Grab two of those, take them to there, take them to the other end. Actually, I kind of like three. Okay, and then on the food side of things, doubling would be a handy feature in Railroad Empire. Uh, it's in two. There's a button that just builds a second line of track parallel to the existing one. And it's in, um, 
Railroad Corporation. One, two, one, two, three, four. So it is a modern convenience to which people have become accustomed. Hibbing. One, two, three, four. And then how do I get you to get food? If this end can't produce it, we can... I know that it's in two. I haven't played one. So it could be in one and I just don't know. How do we get that last bit of food? Or maybe we just have two that do that. Yeah, you know what? We probably just have two that do that. This is definitely going to need sand and water here. can make the one of these that was not going to the wrong place. So this one, but starting at Hibbing, with the idea that it produces produce to start with, and then we flip it to the other thing. Very good. Next time you are Passenger Express. And we make the second one of those. And I think that's done. Stock price still massively inflated. company book value. 50 million. We needed 60. No, we only needed 40. So actually, if I dump all of the company value into... boosting my own money, my personal money rather than the company money, we might win this year. I'm okay with doing that. Buy back stock at hugely inflated prices. No, it only got us up to 17 million, not 20. need to wait another year. Can you get all the way up to there without running out of water, friend? Yes. Yes, you can. Excellent. heck went wrong with you? Well, whatever. You'll work it out. You know what? Actually, no. Go back there and fix yourself up. Speed up, speed up. Still above price, but I'm going to inflate it even more, so 
or by up to 200? Yeah, 200. And yes, that gives me a bit of personal debt. Price is more reasonable for buying back. Buy back stock. 40k of it. Six, seven, no. Wait for the price to drop some more. some more. In fact, if we do a buying spree right at the end of this year, we could well win. Passengers go. They were there mere moments ago. Woo. No, slightly too slow. Oh, that's worse, thanks. It gives me more money to boost price with at the end of this year. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Boost it to the moon. Another year. some more price inflating. Oh, 19.5. This year should absolutely do it though. Well, not whilst the economy crashes. Yeah, 
That's tanked my nominal value. At least buying back stock is cheaper. I almost own half the company. He's not going to be able to deleverage himself. Yeah, he's almost screwed himself over. Look at his purchasing power, and he has... He's betting that this price goes even lower than this. That would almost potentially bankrupt him if our price went down more. No, 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 he's sold shares of ours that don't exist, and he has to buy them back later. But the problem is he has to buy them back at their later price. So if the price goes up after he's, he's sold them, he's, he's losing money. And that could cause him to go into financial collapse because his personal... He, he exceeds his personal green line here. He has 50k of available money before he is, sort of has to start liquidating assets. And if he had to start liquidating assets, he would explode. There we go, that pushes us over 20. Yes! Where's my victory? Yo! 40 million book value. 20 million player. Twenty million player. Oh, I need three more million book value. Fair enough. Wait for the end of the year. Have some more cash in the kitty, and we'll be fine. I spent too much money buying back sh shares, but now my personal worth isn't worth as much. How aggravating! There we go. Congratulations, you truly are a golden gopher. Woo! That was a nice little map too. We had lots of luck with good maps today. Lots and lots and lots of luck. Minnesota, victory. Cheers all. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've had a lovely time.